What's up you guys? It's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have a brand new release from Live Love Posh that I want to flip through and then I'm going to do a plan with me using one of the sticker books. So stay tuned if you want to check it out. Before I get started, I want to let you know that all of this releases Saturday, February 24th at 1 p.m. Central Time, and you can use code MICHELLE10 to save 10% off on your Live Love Posh orders on everything excluding Posh boxes and box sets, and I'll have my affiliate link in the description, and I always appreciate your support when you shop through that link at no extra cost to you, but I'm going to pull everything to the side and show you everything that is available. It's gorgeous. Let's start out with this deluxe sticker book. This is a 40 page sticker book that includes clear and paper stickers and it's called Spring Allure. It's nice and chunky. All right, we're going to start out with some clear florals. So pretty, such a rich color palette with lots of clusters. So you're going to get two of those on clear and then two more pages of the same florals but different clusters and corner pieces and side pieces on clear. Then we have this gorgeous set in the like lavender and yellow and coral with the bees and the books. This is on paper. Got the girls in different skin tones. Two of those. There's two of everything. Then we've got this that all, also goes with that. I love these honeycomb corners. Look at the little notepad that you can actually use to write in. And then the next set is this gorgeous tulips and like the coral and the red and that sort of marigold color and the butterflies and look at the little bird at the birdhouse. Two of those. And then also this goes with that same set. We've got this cute little makeup bag and a little envelope with flowers blooming out of it, a backpack and some rain boots and some little macaroons. And then this gorgeous set is lots of yellow and like purple tones. It's so pretty. This is on clear. This is the second one of those. And then we've got also two of these. Look at this gorgeous long border piece. So you could do your whole bottom of your planner or top or cut it up and use it however you'd like. So two of those. And these are some of my favorites. Look at these little shops. We've got a little bookstore, some single little trees and things, a little sign that says open, flower shop, cafe, market. So cute, I love the colors. I love the pink in that and those are on clear. And then we have this spring cleaning set that has all the like cleaning supplies and then these gorgeous hydrangeas, so pretty in the pastel, that's on clear. I love those little bubbles too. Then on paper, we have this really vibrant like fuchsia and blue and purple set. So girly. Look at the little shoes, the record player, the little ice cream sundae, camera, the scooter. And then also that goes with that, look at these boxes, these like ornate frame boxes. I love this. And we've got this really pretty like pastel Easter set with the little jelly beans and the little pug wearing the bunny ears, a cute little Easter dress, some Easter eggs, a little sign that says he is risen. Look at the stand mixer in the pink too. That's on paper. Then we've got also with those the really big flowers and then some of the smaller clusters and the larger icons. Then this is so pretty. This is like a, a watercolor set. It's got umbrellas. It's got the boots. The colors are just so, so pretty. And that's on clear. And also with that, look at this, this full sticker of like a little street of houses, lots of flowers, the books, watering can on clear. Then this one is gorgeous. This one's one of my favorites. I love it. It's really like soft and feminine with the blush pink and the lavender, a little bit of the green. So we've got the paints, this chocolate covered strawberries. Look at the book and the cake. That cake is gorgeous. And then also on clear that goes with that, this is gorgeous. It's got all the butterflies in those colors and the wildflowers and those pinks, corals, and purples. 
Then on paper, we have this really bright set, kind of like primary colors, but it's also got some of the pink and lavender in with it. Border pieces, all about like spring and gardening and full bloom, collect beautiful moments and say it with flowers. And then two more pages that go with that set with some of the clusters. No rain, no flowers, live life in full bloom, flower power, just keep blooming and grow your own garden. Those are on paper also. And I love this one too. This one's just so soft and pretty and I love the illustrations. It's just cool looking. Fill the world with kindness, the quote says, and this one says bloom where you're planted. We've got some flower clusters and some corner pieces, all kinds of little spring icons, kind of a neutral pastel color palette that's so pretty. That's on paper and also on paper to go with that. Anything is possible. And then we've got a little hanging picture that says lovely spring days, more of the flower clusters and the flowers and vases and little seed packets. Then we've got this gorgeous soft blue and soft yellow floral design on clear. And then we've got quotes, lots of black and white quotes, springtime cheer, spring festival, spring is the time of plants and projects, blossom, filled days, find me where the wild things are in full bloom, renewal, dances in the breeze of spring, a season of beauty and growth, hello spring, the beauty of spring, fresh air, March winds, April showers, May flowers, fresh beginnings, hope, spring cleaning, gardening, outdoor picnics, meet me at the farmer's market, blooms with spring's arrival, rainbows after the rain, rainbows after rain, floral bliss, renew, rejoice, relax, a time for new beginnings. That one's on paper, and then we're gonna get all of those also on clear. And then all of our functional boxes that go with all of the stickers. So these are some of the smaller ones and the checklist bars, two of those. And then the larger ones with those headers and the bullet points. And then there's this color palette. Then we have this bright, vivid, kind of rich color palette. And there are the larger orange and the larger, like the blue, purple, and like wine color. So that is called Spring Allure and I love it. There's so many stickers in there I can't wait to use. Now let's look at the next sticker books. I'll flip through them individually, but there are three sticker books. One is called Book Babe, one is called Botanist Babe, and one is called Mystic Babe. So I'm gonna start out with the Book Babe. And this is obviously all about books and reading. I'm gonna use this today to set up my reading tracker for this year. But this is gonna be on clear and paper. This first set is gorgeous. It's on paper and it's that really pretty mint green and soft pink. It's so beautiful. And look, there's even a little cat wearing glasses on the stack of books. We've got some books, teacups, cozy little reading nook, girls reading. So two of those on paper and also that goes with that, two more on paper. We've got like a big library, some bookshelves, a desk, the glasses and the coffee, two of those. There are two of everything also. So then we've got this really pr pretty rich, almost gives me like fall vibes. It's got the, like the orange and the burgundy and the dark green. These are clear the satchel with the books and all the flowers, the girl with their hair tied in a bow. Then this next set is also on clear and it's got the really pretty cool tones like the turquoise, the blue, the purple with the plants and the green. Isn't that so pretty? Then we have a fun like summery tropical set on paper. So we've got the little beach set up with the beach bag and of course a book, stacks of summer books, all like summer themed titles, and then the tropical flowers, even the tropical drink. Then also different pages that go with that set. Look at this border with the palms. I love that and all the tropical fruit, the beach chair and umbrella. Then we have this really pretty more muted set on paper kind of just blue, kind of a dusty rose color, neutrals. And then a really dark, 
moody set. This is really pretty. This would be pretty for junk journaling too, but look at this bookstore. It looks so cozy, like on a rainy day. Stacks of books, old cameras. We've got the girls in different skin tones, and these are on clear. Also on clear, more of the flowers and the books and the girls. Then this is on paper, really pretty and springy. Farm Sweet Farm, a little bit of country, Faith Family and Farm. We've got the truck with the books and the flowers, the rain boots. Love the colors on that. And then two more pages that go with that in that soft blue and like minty green and blush. Then a really pretty brighter pastel set with the typewriters, the teapots, all the books and the butterflies, the teacup on the stack of books. That's paper, and then this is also paper that goes with it, more of the larger flower clusters and books. Then on clear, kind of an antique, like sepia-toned set. We've got the little bird on the windowsill, a little desk with a reading lamp, a cozy bookstore, a typewriter. And then we have the quotes in the back. Read, dream, repeat, I'd rather be reading, to be read, reading, my kind of therapy, where words lead, I follow, hashtag TBR, book babe, escape reality, read a book, one more chapter, always, reading list, books where magic happens, in the pages, I find my peace, books are my happy place, open a book, open your mind, Bookish hearts never stop beating. Bookshelves are por portals to other worlds. Books, books, books. Bookshelf, book lover. Reading list, lost in a world of books and reading tracker. And we've got two pages of those, both on clear. And then look at this. This is gorgeous. These are four separate stickers. So if your goal is 20 books, you could just use a couple or how many ever you need and you get two and they're on paper and you can color them in and write your book titles in there. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So that is Book Babe. And now let's look at Botanist Babe, all about plants and botanicals. This is so pretty. So we've got this is paper with all the green plants. It's just perfect for spring or plant lovers. Look at the monstera plants, all the different types of plants, hanging plants, very boho. Then we're going to have two of these on paper that go with that set. Look at this pretty desk just surrounded by plants and the bathtub with plants around it. Little side pieces. Then we have this gorgeous page of different color succulents on clear. And look how pretty this is, like the succulent clusters on clear. The colors are so pretty. I love that. Oh my goodness, I didn't see this one when I flipped through. I love how delicate this is, and I love the little pops of pink and light blue. All the hanging plants, those are going to be so fun to use. Those are on paper. And then we have a set on clear of all different types of potted plants. And two more that are the hanging plants on clear and then even more hanging plants oh these are gorgeous aren't they look all different sizes those are clear also then we have this fun set that's like blue and green with those little pops of the pink blooms on the succulents these are paper and then also on paper this really pretty green and like light blue set and this is paper also with all of the different types of potted plants. That's gorgeous. And then I love this too, like this greenhouse look with the windows and then the shelves, like all the home decor. That's paper. And then we have this super pretty, bright, more tropical, like summery set on clear. Then we've got some hanging, like with the little iron hangers with the flowers and plants in them on clear. And then we have our quotes, weeding out negativity, planting positivity. I'm not saying I talk to plants, but they definitely listen. Sorry, I have plants this weekend. Green thumbs, happy hearts, plant babe, plant whisperer, planting happiness in every pot, botanist babe, plant lady, 
My life is a disaster, but at least my plants are thriving. You grow, girl. Thank you for helping me grow, or thanks for helping me grow. Plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love, emotional support plant. That's cute. Please don't die. Grow happy thoughts, plant more joy, introverted but willing to discuss plants, water please, and live life in full bloom. Two pages of quotes on clear. So that one's Botanist Babe. And now let's look at Mystic Babe. This one is really magical with all the crystals and the flowers and butterflies. So we're going to start out with this set on paper with the blue, purple, and pink. Got that bathtub. And also on paper that goes with that, look the little star pajamas and like the little sleep mask and sleepy like pillow mist. Eclipsed by dreams. The flowers are pretty and I love that feather also. So pretty. And then we have this like pink, more pastel set with the like the crystals and the potions and the flowers on paper and the candles. We've got more of that and like the larger icons and the larger floral clusters and corner pieces. Then we have a full page of all of the crystals on paper and a full page of the boxes that go with that and different shaped boxes. And look at this cluster that's like, or this border piece that's like crystals and feathers. So that's on paper, obviously. Then on clear, we have this really cool like green and blue with pops of yellow set. We've even got the washi tape, little moons, rainbows, butterflies. And then also on clear that goes with that, more of the icons. Look at those shoes. Those are so cute with the little stars on the toe and they lace up. The key and the little coffee cup. And then we've got this really pretty like sunset colors. I love this one with that like orchid color and peach, apricot color and like the purple. Those are clear. And then also that go with those on clear are these with the succulents, more of the crystals and the girls, the journals. Oh, I love this one. This is pretty, really soft and muted kind of neutrals, but with these little pops of green and like the blush kind of taupe color. Seek inspiration in, unus in unusual places. Anything you want to find is out there somewhere. Being yourself is sacred. And then these are books that say seek magic every day. You are magical. Know Your Power, those are paper. Oh, these are cute, these go with that also on paper. Look at the little house here and more of the like the little books. So cute, and then we have this dreamy like watercolor kind of cloud mystical set on clear. We are all made of stars. And then more that goes with that on clear. Look at the clouds with the gold, the corner pieces. And then we're gonna have our quotes, which say stars in her eyes, magic in her soul, good vibes, gemstones, aromatherapy, dream interpretation, mystic heart, cosmic art. I tried to meditate, but I just ended up making a to-do list for the universe. Make today magical, mindfulness, mystic babe, her soul sparkled like the night sky, inner peace, in the cosmos of planning, my tasks align like stars, astrology, magical. I tried to channel my spirit animal, but all I got was my cat judging me. I've got a crystal for that. The mystical journey begins within Mystic Babe. My to-do list is a paper trail of good intentions. You are made of magic. Wander under stars. Good vibes. Born of stardust. Celestial vibes. Dancing with constellations. Alchemy. And merging starlight dreams with daylight plans. So two pages of quotes on clear. So those are all of these sticker books. We've got the Spring Allure, Botanist Babe, Book Babe, and Mystic Babe. And then, y'all, these are so pretty. There's going to be two packs of monthly dividers that are gorgeous. So we've got a set that is the classic minimal florals and a set that's the classic monthly dividers and lush florals. Let's look first at the lush florals. And these are really thick, sturdy cardstock with the like laminated tabs and they're front and back. 
So this one's January and the back coordinates with it, but it's different with the larger florals. And then we have this beautiful purple one, really romantic for February, the larger on the back. Then for March, the pretty pinks and peaches with the roses and the chrysanthemums and on the back. Then here's April, very Eastery looking. That's the back of that one. Then May, love the pink and green. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Then June is gorgeous with that robin's egg blue background and the really pretty like brighter flowers mixed in with the white flowers. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? And then July is even more like jewel tone with the teal and there's the back. August is that really pretty berry and wine and like burgundy and mustard color combo. And that's the back. September is really like a dark bluish purple with all these beautiful purple and pink flowers. And then October, it's got the purple background with all of the jewel tone flowers and there's the back. And November, like has like a maroon background with these beautiful like fall florals and there's the back of that one and look, look how pretty December is with that dark green background and the pale pink and the burgundy flowers and then that's the back. I love that they're just dividers. They don't have anything printed like monthly or any kind of function on the back. They're just front and back beautifully decorated dividers that are nice and sturdy. So that's the lush florals. And now let's look at the minimal florals. This one's so clean and modern. This one's gonna be all black and white or like black, white, and gray. So January says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And then the back is a simple like black and white stripe. I love that. And then we've got just a black and white line drawing here in the corner and on the back, the black with the white stripes. Then March is really pretty. It's white background. And it's got like this gray line drawing, really large floral cluster and the very small stripes on the back, the white with the gray. Then April is the black with the white flowers and the bolder black and white stripes on the back. May says you deserve to bloom in every season and every chapter of your life with that pretty gray with the like the branch and then on the back the gray and white stripe and there's June with the white and gray and the larger gray and white stripe. July says life isn't about finding yourself life is about creating yourself with that black with the white writing and the white flower and then a smaller black and white stripe. Then we have August with the flower up here in the corner with the black and white on the back. September is that white and gray with the white and gray stripe. October is that black with the really large white floral and the black and white boulder stripes. And November says, love yourself first and everything else falls in line. That's the black with the, or the gray with the white and there's the gray and white stripe. And then December is the white with the black florals and the gray and white larger stripe on the back. So those are the monthly dividers that are available. We have the minimal florals, the lush florals, and again, our sticker books, Spring Allure, Book Babe, Botanist Babe, and Mystic Babe. So I'm gonna pull everything to the side. These are all so pretty, and I'm definitely gonna be using Spring Allure to do my my March monthly spread coming up in another video. But today I've been waiting for this to set up my book tracker for my planner. All right, I just have a piece of dot grid filler paper and I'll also include the link for the Live Love Posh dot grid filler paper. So let me grab the book, babe. Okay, let me see how many books this includes. All right, I just counted. This one is 16 books, 20 books, 19 and 21. So I'm gonna use all four of these because that equals 76, and I think that's how many books I read last year, 70 something. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but then I'll still have this in case I need more or for next year or for a different tracker. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this page out. And they're perforated pages, and I want the, the sticker that says reading tracker.
Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, because these are going to fill up this page, I'll probably do the reading tracker going like this, going vertically. Maybe I should start with the bottom one. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to put this one right on the bottom. A little closer to the left so I can use the reading tracker, these labels. And you can do them in any order you like, but I like the like the formation that they're already in. All right, I decided not to go with the stickers I had pulled, the one that says reading tracker, just because it was a little bigger than I wanted it to be. So I made this on the Cricut, and this is this font is called Grown Up. It's just really clean and thin like these drawings. So I'm gonna put that right here. And I'm either gonna draw lines here or do some washi tape. So I'm not sure yet. And so I have read, or I'm on my eighth book. I printed out my book covers too. So I'm gonna, next I'm gonna make a, make pages to, to put these in. So starting here on the back and I've got another sheet as well. And last year I did the same thing and I just cut out this, this is a one by one and a half inch rectangle is the size I print them at and I use, the app called Print to Size. Just put the picture of the book there and size it down to this size. But I made this little template out of some cardstock with, or a poster board actually, with the Cricut last year because it makes it a lot easier to draw the boxes. So I do wanna leave room to decorate. And then underneath each one, I wanna just write the month that I read it. So I'll know when I go back to do my currently sheet and everything. And I'm not gonna do the star, the rating on this sheet. I'm gonna do them on the next one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these and I will be right back. All right, so I got that done. I left space to decorate here and here and then I did the back as well. And then I'll just add more as I need more. But I wanna decorate now with the Book Bay book. So excited. I'm kind of thinking about this set. Let me just flip back through again. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this. And that way, now that I know that, I'll be able to pick out what washi or whatever I'm doing there. And I'll shade my books in as I read them with, well, I'll come back and do that in a minute, but I'm gonna use these uh, Mild Liner Gentle and Neutral color palette again. I love those colors. Okay, so. Okay, so let's do first over here in the corner, let's do these flowers. Because that fills that in nicely. And I want to put that little flower in the corner. Okay, now over here, definitely some books. Let's do this stack of book with flowers on top. How about these little butterflies? And maybe a quote here. Let's see if there's a small quote. I think there were a lot of different size quotes. Okay, let's see. What about this? It says books where magic happens and it's just nice and small and it fits in there perfectly. I saw this butterfly. 
It would be pretty over here on the side of one of these. And we'll have one more smaller one up here kind of for balance. And I want to use a little bit more flower action right up here. And we need some over here for balance. Okay, and let's do this beautiful setup right here. And let's have this little bookshelf right over here. cat in the middle or over here by it. Oh, that's cute. Let's use this that says escape reality, read a book. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? All right, I want to go ahead and put my books in here that I've read. This is the first one I read this year. I like mostly thriller books. I think I read one like romance fiction or like rom-com, I guess you call it. So that one, and then I'll write the months after. These were all thriller genre, except for the one called Famous for a Living. It was about like a famous influencer that went away to like a small town. It kind of had a like a Hallmark movie theme or ending. I won't ruin it for you in case you want to read it, but it was pretty good. Okay, and then That's Not My Name was great, although I wish I could have changed the ending. The Other Passenger, this took me a long time. I just never could really get into it, but I, would, I had already read so much of it that I wanted to finish it. And then The Teacher, that was really good. Frieda McFadden books are always good. And then, then this is what I'm reading now by B.A. Paris called The Guest. That's my, probably my favorite author. And this book just released on the 20th and I was so excited. I signed up for Audible just so I could get it because I I usually listen to books on um, the Libby app, the library app, but it would take them a while to get that since it's brand new. So I'm just going to write the months in here. All of these I read in January and then these were in February. Okay, let's get a couple of butterflies over on this side. Let's see, we'll do, let's do one up here. One of these that's already cut for the side and then and maybe like a little quote up here would be good. Okay. So let's do like a long quote up here. 
Lost in a world of words. That's perfect. And this is the same font that that script down there is, so that's perfect. Okay, another butterfly probably here. flower action up here. Just a scrap. And a little bit right down here. I think that's all that page needs. Now let's just get a little bit over here. up for up here just something simple like this where words lead I follow and we'll do this girl right over here So I have this washi tape that just has words on it, kind of like a book. So I thought that would be good for either side of this quote, and then I'll just have it to look torn on the right before it gets to the word. And then we'll do on the other side the same thing. And let's do that at the bottom also. And then I want to incorporate that over here. So I thought I would just do a little bit coming out of the sides of some of these. And we'll do a little bit right here. And a little bit right here. I just want a touch of it so it pulls it together. And then let's do a little bit at the top. Just like from this butterfly over to where that quote starts. Oh, 
Okay, so that's that. And then I just need to fill these in and show you what I'm doing for that very last page for like where I write down my thoughts about it. I'm not gonna do like a technical review, but I, I like to write down the main characters and maybe the main story just so I can look back and remember. Oh yeah, I read that book, I remember. So I'm probably just gonna stick with the these pastels. Not any of like the neutrals, maybe the cream. Okay, so let's do the pink first. And then the green. Now let's do the blue next. I'm just gonna shade in eight and then just shade them in as I go along. Do the gray also. And there is something so satisfying about shading those in and writing them as you complete a book. If you don't already do one of these, it's just so much fun. All right, now I just use a very fine point pen to write them in since you have to write them kind of small. So I have the only, the only one left in the first mistake. And then let's say the first mistake. So I like to vary the fonts a little bit so they look like, you know, like really like books. So I'm gonna write the first kind of small. and do this in like that stretchy script. And famous for a living. And this one on the second row, I'm gonna space out living and do those kind of block letters. Okay, and the inmate.
That's not my name and the other passenger. I'm going to write this kind of tall since this is a thicker book. And then we have the other passenger. I'm just going to write it normal. And then we have the teacher and the guest, which I'm not technically done with the guest, but I want to go ahead and put it in here. So for this one, I'll write the going this way. And then I'll do kind of a lettering. Okay, and the biggest. Okay, and then let's get a little bit of that washi here, or I don't know if I want that or not. Let's see. Okay, I think I'll do this. This is just like a subtle pink pattern. I don't know where I got it. I've had it for a very long time. All right, that is that. So I've got my shelfie page and then the page where I put my book covers, then another page. Then for my printable, for my patrons this month, I made a book reviews page. So I'll just print these as needed, like front and back. Like it's got title, author, a rating and then a place for notes. So that's for six books and then six on the back. So I'll just print a bunch of these and that's gonna be there too. And I might end up decorating those. But thank you so much for hanging out with me while I flip through this gorgeous new release from Live Love Posh and put my reading tracker together. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.